Welcome all to the Warrior Hamster channel. Um, this will be odd, what you're looking at now, but um, I've been told that Gumpler can be made with almost anything. So, being an, am an amateur that I am, we're going to put that to the test. I've got my kids' old not dirtier table thing. I've got an old cutting board here. I have one exacto knife. I have a very old file, finger, fi uh, well, nail file, sorry about that. And I have perhaps the most modeling thing of it all, which is a tiny model kit, which I won on a small contest on the village where I'm at. I'm in. I won first prize, I have no idea why. And I got myself a uh, corn figure. Well, blood letter perhaps. Looks more like a blood letter. And yeah, it was a nice morning doing Warhammer figures with my kid. And yeah, as I said, don't know what the heck I want that for. I want that, and I want a Citadel uh, painting kit which brought this as well. And uh, yeah, but this you can find on Nardware or anywhere and rather, rather cheap. So yeah, so let's see what I got here because Santa Claus has been nice to me. I've gotten myself a action base one, a tier one. Uh, my camera's not good, so I'm trying to get you guys to see the best they can. And I've also got a Roe, which I've heard very good things about. So we'll have to give it a try, won't we? Right. So all said and done, this is very, very lousy thing. But let's give it a go. We will start for the action base, of course. And what have we here? Mm -hmm. Any special place we can open? Did that ruin anything? Which is my speciality. Mm, apparently so. We could just open this up and see I ruined it already. Broken all that. And we have the bottom of the base. And we have runners with the rest. And we've got tiny, tiny little screws and a knot right there. What do we have here? Mm -hmm. And we have this, on which we have here already how to start. Okay. These look kind of nice. Yeah. Got quite a few three different pegs for holding the Gundams, I think. Got a few other things there, I don't know what for. And I've got these pieces there, which I honestly have no clue. Right. Hmm. 
So it says here, BA3 and B2, 5. Which means these two. This one and that one. Also it seems. Yeah, BA3, B2, you've got the number of the runner on top here. I'll see properly, I think. So we will cut a little bit further. We have a little bit of knobs over here, but it's not doing too bad of a job. There we go. Yeah. I think it's better for me to use this. I'm trying to. It's got a better ending, so I do it like so. Yeah, people use hobby knives and stuff like that, but if you can't afford it, an exacto knife will help you in. Yeah, that looks good. Ish. Yeah, it's not too bad. And, uh, right. Put this on here. One in like that. Yeah, apparently we have yeah, the little protrudence here, a little slot here, which needs to fit like so. Oh, lovely. And then on this piece, does it even matter? So that's over there. This will be on the back, which would be around. Yeah. was not getting the hang of it. Right, figure number one is on. And now we need BA3C, which is this one. And we're going to put 14532. So we're going to cut this one. himself out up there. Number five, which is this one over here. And three and two, which is these two pieces over there. Like so. And, uh, yeah, this is the first time I've been trying to do something of this sort. I had a few Warhammer figurines. Well, the one I've painted, plus the other ones from the uh, contest I won. I bought a uh, small set of another three because I actually enjoyed building them up and uh, painting them. But due to lack of time and kids, you were not, I wasn't able to Continue. So that's the hat for this one, and this one has a little bit more. And this is a very high amateur job, because as I said, I am doing this for my very first time, and I'm just trying to do what I think is right. Okay, there you go, I need a little bit of trimming over here.
interesting. Opens, closes. Nice. And note.
And there we have it. We've got our, well, nearly made. Something's missing over here. And it's these pieces, which they have a specific size, I think, for what kind of model you have. It also has this little bit here, which you can drive, drive the other screw around this one. Because on this one you have got a little knot over here and you've got a longer screwdriver that goes through here and that little one well basically is to fit on this little piece over here in case well, I don't know it's my first time building it I have absolutely no clue I tried looking at the um, instruction manuals and uh, what I've seen is that where is it somewhere down here There you go. You got these bits here, and apparently they got different sizes. So I'm going to build the Rohe, and the one that fits is the one that will go. Because although I love Japanese, I cannot read a word of this. But it was rather easy following the instructions, and the result is right here. You can put a tag here, you can move this bit to any other hole that you want to. You've got plenty of choices, and it's actually nice. Something that made me a little bit doubtful is uh, so you can rotate and you can put it closer here. Or you can take it further away here and basically you've got something here that will allow you to where is it go up like so if you want to put uh, for example on here and here which is the furthest distance I think it can handle but on and on, it, it looks quite nice. You have this little flap here, which allows you to go either, oopsie daisy, either higher or smaller. And it can be a little bit weird for you to actually find the perfect spot to close it. But yeah. For the moment, I'm going to leave it as it is, like so, without breaking everything, because, you know, first time dealing with this, so not too sure what I can expect from it. And it looks kind of cool. you got this little bit that goes quite a bit. If you want to tighten it up, you just need to tighten the bolt a little bit, but I don't think it's necessary to be ever so tight. And, yeah. I had a few difficulties because uh, I'm a moron and couldn't do things properly. And you also have this little bit over here, which I'm assuming we can stick about here. Yeah, you can. And it can hold someone. But as I said, I don't know what the Rohe will do. So. I'll build that up and I'll come back to you. I hope you enjoyed this very, very noob platform building and I'll see you on my next video, the Rohe.